I'm Fox Heart Meteorologist Jamie Cagle, and this is your Storm Patrol forecast. We're going to start out with a look at Storm Patrol 4 Doppler radar. And right now, you can see showers and thunderstorms are moving across the Keys, but also moving easterly. And it looks as though for these morning hours, we're going to find most of this rain taking aim at the southern tip of the state. Mainly dry conditions, it looks like, up until about maybe 11 a.m., 12 noon for the most part. We could find a stray shower to sneaking into the coastal areas of this morning. And then following that, close to the lunch hour, we're going to see some rain developing and moving across from west to east. We'll get to that momentarily. We're also keeping an eye on the visibilities. We have seen them drop just a little bit to the north and that could become a trend, but we will keep a close eye on these numbers and uh, should they start to change, we'll definitely let you know about them. You can watch Fox 4 Rising from 5 to 8 a.m. And here's your day part planner mid 60s and looking like partly to mostly cloudy through the morning hours, mainly dry conditions. Then we set up for the showers and those are going to be primarily inland for today. Temperatures well on their way to the upper 70s and low 80s. Now taking a look at the afternoon, there they are. Those upper 70s and low 80s, a chance at some showers, but again, mainly inland at that time. Looking at the bigger picture right now, an area of low pressure is going to be moving across the Gulf Coast states, the southern plains, and into the mid-Atlantic over the next 48 hours. And it's going to bring some severe weather potential, a great amount of it, to the Gulf Coast states. You can see between Louisiana and the Florida panhandle, that's our greatest risk for severe weather for today and for tomorrow. It does include parts of southwest Florida in that uh, marginal risk right now. A greater chance as you look to the northern half of the state. So tomorrow with a line of showers and thunderstorms coming through, there is going to be at least a slight risk or a marginal risk, I should say, for that severe weather. Here's your storm patrol forecast. <clears throat> and through these morning hours, again, Nothing more than a stray shower getting into the coastal corridor noon to about five o'clock. That's when the rain moves from west to east across the area. Clearing trend taking place and then into the overnight hours. Clouds on the increase and then here are showers and thunderstorms for tomorrow. Very close to the lunch hour for that to happen. For today, though, looking for those low 80s, partly and mostly cloudy skies, and then that clearing trend taking place through the afternoon. Mainly inland afternoon rain west to east. And then tonight, clouds on the increase for the overnight hours, the mid 60s and mainly dry. We will have the showers and thunderstorms approaching tomorrow with that cold front. And again, a marginal risk for the severe weather. Could be some strong winds associated with it. A lot of sunshine following that cold front and the temperature is still taking a bit of a dip. Starting to recover early next week, but we will have some rather chilly mornings coming up with some 40s for overnight lows. A little breezy, but the weekend right now looking pretty nice. That's your Storm Patrol 4 weather forecast.